Okay, um, I want to start off the video by saying that uh, I don't know who, who thought it was okay or decided it was all right to have the ability to run Vados with those abilities she has alongside 18. It's like, it's some of the most broken stuff <laughs> I've like seen in this game. 18 is tremendously good. In my opinion, the second best Zenkai character in the game at the time of the recording. I don't even think that's a hot take. Every now and again, somebody will kind of disagree and put somebody else. But I don't even think it's a hot take. But um, 18 is ridiculously good. Regardless of, regardless of where you place her, she's stupid good regardless. Um, now, comboing her with the supporting effects that Vados have, has, excuse me, is just ridiculous. So, the ability to shorten sub count by three is crazy. Keep in mind, 18 also can draw green cards repeatedly. So you can kind of keep this revolving door of green cards if you really, really want to. Uh, and just constantly just spam this, which allows you to switch quicker. That's why it's so good. It's one of the best mechanics in the game, period, actually. Also, it has a control element to it by reducing the enemy's key. So the main ability as well is really good. Heals 15%, uh, 30% more damage. Cancels allies, downgrades, and conditions. What the heck? It's just like, this is a lot. That's a lot to do, right? For allies across the entire board. Yes, allies does include the character self unless it says so. Um, so when she enters the battlefield, she does this stuff. This is kind of whatever. Also, I never randomly throw... I never actually sub her in uh, for a cover change. Because even though she destroys two cards, I guess kind of like, uh, what, Kale? Red Kale? Anyways, even though she does that... Her stats are really bad defensively, I guess. Actually, her, her offense isn't that bad, but her defenses are kind of below average. They're not even that bad. They're just kind of below average. Um, so, yeah, it, but she does have this last ability down here. That's where uh, her value comes from. Applies the following effects to allies when this character switches to standby. When she switches out, she restores key by 25. 35% damage inflicted buff for 15 counts. By the way, with her ability to shorten sub counts, um, you can actually get a couple of switches on characters before this runs out. I'll be, it'll probably be at like three or four counts or whatever, but you can kind of stack that a couple of times. That's ridiculous. Anyways, if you switch it out 10 times, you get 50%. You're never getting that. <laughs> but even if you get 25%, 30%, whatever, that's still really good. And if she's on God Key or Rival Universe team, she's going to heal them as well. Now, on this team, Kefla is a Rival Universe character. So she, Kefla actually heals a lot on this team because of the abilities of Autos and the abilities of um, Kefla herself. So I'm using green, green, yellow, um, and that's pretty much it. It's really interesting how this team really works. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe and uh, check out the Vados and Champa video and all that stuff down below. And more to come. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the first match of today's video. Okay, so we're versus a Super Saiyan squad. Oh, not bad. All right. I don't mind taking hits here, obviously. Uh, I'll actually probably switch. Yeah, I definitely will. That's fine. That That's perfect. And if he switches, I'll get another buff for that. Ah! Ah! Brr, 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 brr. Thank you. I'll go blast. Oh, I got him. Got him, Chief. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. I want to see what he does, obviously. Otherwise, I'll just go to Vados. There it is. This just, this just feels, this doesn't feel okay. Like, they didn't need this, this extra support to be able to run this team this way. <laughs> you, you, I didn't even get like, what, two switches with Vados? My god. What? <laughs> what? Okay, so Sun Family slash Saiyan. Ah! Help! Help me! Yeah! Uh, that's a three. One to two more. Okay, that's a strike. He might actually have one more, actually. He did not. Nice. 
Wish I had Kefla in, I would have just flown through. He was certain he was gonna get me, I guess, huh? <laughs> he loaded up the second clip. <laughs> you better switch this dude out. I, I guess it's kind of weird, because it's like, well, who do you switch in? But if you had switched in Kaioken, you would have gotten the chance to get your uh, ability there. Let's make sure 18 can come back a little quicker. Here comes Goku! What's up, bro? I mean, they were both Goku. They're all Goku. I meant this one, though, clearly. <laughs> all right. Oh, it's a good thing I drew another strike. That allows me to do this. Or a blast would have worked, obviously. But now I can just eliminate this dude. And I have a green for Vados, who's two counts away now. They, they didn't need this. They didn't need this. <laughs> also, his strikes are sealed, so I'm going to go for a tackle here. I thought he was going to go for a strike art or something, even though I didn't get the exclamation. But it's fine. He shouldn't have Vanish. That's not going to work. Actually, I think I'm going to rush this dude so he doesn't get the Endurance. Because I didn't sidestep or anything like that. I just loaded the cards up. Okay, so now he actually will get the Endurance. And actually, switching was good. Yeah, that's actually really good. It gives you double value. Assuming that... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, he'll get the Endurance. Uh, assuming that he switches in and uses that green with the green Goku. Because he still should get the green card. That, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Keeps you with two characters instead of one. Yeah, I just loaded the cards up instead of doing any tech. I wouldn't have had to think like that or work that way. Hmm. Man! The second time I tried that, it didn't work. Because the timing was off by a millisecond. <laughs> I tried that twice in that chain. That's fine, you can rush Kefla. <laughs> ah! Alright, let's go blast. Uh oh, I should have chose green. Yeah, I knew he had a green, but I figured he'd try to... Well, to be fair, he used the rush, huh? Whatever. Well, now that means he, unless he gets another green, can't do the thing. So, all right. Damn it! I hate that green card like that. Thank you. And, and that's going to do it. I honestly would have probably switched there. Because uh, you would have kept Kid Goku as your last man. But, I mean, it, it was pretty much over. That was a good game, though. Let's play another couple. Okay, so blue, blue, purple. No Super Saiyan 1, so Bardock is actually going to be at a distinct disadvantage for this whole match. Not disadvantage. Well, he's going to be either way, especially because my opponent's running freaking the literal... Oh, let me say this. That's the antithesis of my team, and not in a good way. <laughs> he's running blue, blue, purple, live, green, green, yellow. This is like that video where I was running what? I was running like what? Red, red, green, I think, and I came up against freaking uh, yellow, yellow, blue. No, 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 blue, whatever. Okay, you get the point. It's not good when you're, when you're at that big of a disadvantage, okay? So, I said I'll have to say, he didn't run a Super Saiyan 1, so Bardock is literally missing a part of his unique entirely, so that's not great for him. And especially because he can't actually get access to a part of his passive that gives crit buffs anyway, he's in a really weird spot. That's what I was trying to say. I expect SS3 right here, might as well just go for a strike. No SS3, alright. Okay. Oh wait, that's not Beerus! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, Vegeta. Just like old times, right? Go for the tackle. He has no strike cards. He might have a green. No green, apparently. Got his vanish, too. Nice. Oh. I know he had no strikes. It was just more or less like trying to get that out of the way as quickly as possible. We'll switch in Vados again. Goku? No. I'm really surprised there's no Goku switch right there. Let's go ahead and go for the green. And get in between. He just used a sidestep or a green card. Okay. Brrr. Aha! Switch to SS3. Yeah, buddy. Roll it like a beach. All right, here we go. Strike card sealed again. Oh, no. Why is that a thing? Why do they let you seal strike cards like that? That's just stupid. I have two units doing it. <laughs> I don't even know if it's still on anymore, but that's just hilarious, bro. It's like, why? Okay, it's not on. It's like, why, bro? And she can do it, what? Non-stop? As long as she lands blue cards? I can even see switch to her here. 
The game's starting to lag out of nowhere. He's got to know I don't really mind 18 getting rushed at this point. Oh, I was going to say, didn't I just get his vanish? But he's about to use that, so that's good. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Here comes Orashi, but that's fine. It's all part of my plan because, ooh, and I drew a green. Nice. Hopefully, I don't guess this. That means she'll be able to get the finishing blow. <laughs> Yikes. All right. <laughs> oh, man. I actually didn't think he was going to kill her, to be honest. That's cool, though. I'm going to vanish this. Even though I could go for the strike, I'll go for it here because I know he had no, no vanish, so... Actually, no, he did have a vanish, huh? The old? Either way, it was more or less playing on my food. I wanted to see Vados in action a little bit more because for the rest of the video, she's probably just going to be a supporter. Okay, so we have a match versus some pretty, uh, you know, scary looking dudes, man. <laughs> Let's figure out how we're going to get this done. All right, here we go. Nice! Let's go, bro! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm too busy. My eyes are closed. Oh, he made the one mistake. And I'm not laughing at him. Not at all. I have nothing against him, right? I'm not trying to like be any type of way. Don't don't take that wrong. I just was like, that couldn't have worked out any better for me personally, right? <laughs> That's incredible. I don't mind her taking damage because she can heal, so whatever. Let's go ahead and get that going so we can get her back a little quicker. Nice. I anticipated that one. This is going to turn off Vegito Blue Switch entirely, by the way. He's not coming into this match at this point. Not right now. Now he knows I have no blast, basically. I have one there, funnily enough. And I don't think he would... I think he'd, he'd probably rather this, but if this dude gets fainted, that's a whole different story. Oh, he might just get... He got one shot, basically. Because he, he didn't get fainted, but he got freaking... I was going to say, it's, I, I was... I can't even talk in this match at all. I was expecting him to kind of give up when he saw the faint. He waited a little bit, so I waited. I was like, are you going to... Like, what's happening? Um... Yeah, that one, that, I don't even know how good this guy was, just because one switch cost him pretty much the whole match. Because he also had Vegito Blue, who's basically a dead character in this match. When I have two greens, now, they're both kind of squishy, <laughs> pun intended, I guess. Um, they, they're, they're both kind of glass cannon, right? But there's a lot of healing. Both of the characters actually have a lot of healing anyway between them, both the green characters. So I would have been fine. Uh, um, it just was weird. So, okay. Let's play another couple. All right, everyone, here's the last match. And reverse is another little Saiyan team. Wow, green card glitch. Really? Really? I didn't mean to tap punch. I touched the screen during her freaking green card animation, so it gave me a freaking strike card. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what? Was she waiting for me to sidestep again? Oh, jeez Louise. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, then. That was a lot of damage in one combo, bro. <laughs> Four million damage combo. My God. Almost. We round up, right? My God, though. Okay, that's fine. I just feel bad for Bardock because he's not going to be good in this match. I could switch to Kefla. Man. Try stop trying to fake me out with your little fake sidestep. I saw that. Well, I think this one's done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, I can see that one was done. Um, We'll play one more probably. 
I want to try to see more of Vados. It's just that it's really easy to get caught up and uh, let the other units... I sidestep, what the heck? And let the other units uh, carry Vados because that's more or less what the role is for her, right? Um, just to be a support type. <laughs> so I want to see more of her. It's just not the most conducive thing. So we'll see if we can kind of make it happen. That's fine, thank you. Show me a tap blast. Tap blast me, please. Ah. Nice one. I was trying to get him to tap blast me so I can get some buffs, but he didn't want to do it. Nice. He switched, which actually gave me priority on a miss. So that's good. And now he's actually kind of stuck. If he switches, I get a buff. That's what I'm talking about when I say it's really easy. <laughs> I'm going to draw another card. It's, gonna, it's just really easy to let... Um, the other units take over because they're so hyper freaking offensive that she doesn't really have to do anything. There's a sidestep. They see this is getting out of hand. She doesn't have to do anything. She just needs to switch in and out a couple times, and that's it. He can't even switch. He shouldn't even have to switch for one. He has type advantage. And then I'm going to switch into Vados and get her freaking main ability buff. And this is just out of hand, bro. My god. I clicked the cart! There it is. Back dash, back dash, back dash, back dash! Oh, I couldn't get it in time. I thought he was going for taps. That's fine, though. Hey, Bardock is in his desired role, right? Last man. Nice one. Nice patience. Okay. Let's see if she can wrap this up. Maybe if I didn't miss a couple cards, she'd have enough key. Also, another thing is, too, she actually builds up her own stats with all the switches and stuff. Um, so you want to you wanna switch her out a lot because of that, too. It's just kind of weird, right? <laughs> it's the second time I'm late, but he does something that, that uh, saves me from being late. Love to see it. Yeah, she's not doing enough damage. I'm just going to wrap this up. All right. Well, I uh, I think she's great. <laughs> it's just she doesn't have to do anything on hyper-offensive teams, which, funnily enough, is all the teams she has. They're all hyper-offensive. So... Uh, she'll age good because she won't have to do much, and she has broken mechanics like healing and sub count down for allies, and there are things like that that are some of the best mechanics to have in the game, period, that she has. So she's going to age pretty well, uh, even if she doesn't damage it good a year from now. She'll still always be a good support. So anyways, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see all of you in the next one.